We all know that Minecraft isn't the best game in terms of performance anymore, especially the Java edition. And apparently there are three popular optimization mods for Fabric existing right now, Sodium, Optifine and Vulkan mod. Each mod does its job by saving the game from its poor performance that doesn't seem to get better with each new version of Minecraft, but also each mod has its pros and cons. Some of them are better for the mod compatibility and some of them are better if you care about the simplicity and ease of use. And so I wanna do a deep comparison comparing all these mods between each other to find out which one is the best in terms of performance and which should you consider nowadays. I know, I know, I already have a comparison between Vulcan mod and Sodium on my channel, but I think if I'm gonna add Optifine to my comparison, it is gonna be a bit more interesting, also considering that Vulcan mod has changed a lot since I made a video about it. It is not in the alpha anymore and it has gotten many, many performance updates with time. Not only that, I also wanna do a deeper comparison showing more performance information on the screen than the previous times. And I also understand understood all the mistakes that I made in the previous videos and so this comparison should be better than the previous ones. But before I do the performance comparison, I want to start off with the basics or basically with pros and cons of each mod if I have to be precise. Starting off with Optifine. Optifine is not only an optimization mod but also a mod that adds the best quality of life features that Minecraft lacks. For example, zoom, shader support, connected textures, more graphics options, much better resource pack support and so, so much more in one single mod. However, unlike the others, this mod is not open source and you cannot download it anywhere else except for their own website or those illegal ones who steal Minecraft mods and put them on their website. Not only that, this mod is also kinda old and has a really bad mod compatibility because of its closed source and also because it has a complex code so it's really hard to create a mod that will properly work with Optifine nowadays. Moving forward to the Vulcan mod. It's the newest mod on the list and its main difference compared to the other mods is that this mod replaces Minecraft's rendering API called OpenGL with a new and modern one called Vulkan. Vulkan promises a more efficient CPU and GPU usage compared to OpenGL, which also means that we should technically get a better performance in Minecraft compared to the other mods, since they work based on the OpenGL rendering, which isn't being updated anymore since 2017 in favor of the Vulkan. Also, keep in mind that this mod is still in the beta, unlike the others, and so bugs and other issues are to be expected. However, since this mod is changing Minecraft's main rendering API, it also also means that about 80% of Minecraft mods or basically mods that work directly with OpenGL won't work with this mod or they have to be adapted specifically for this mod in order to make them work. And finally, we have the most preferred optimization mod nowadays, Sodium. Nowadays, when a mod developer creates a mod, he will look forward to creating a mod and making it work with Sodium in the first place, which also means that this mod provides the best mod compatibility possible, just because it's the most popular and preferred optimization mod for the new Minecraft versions. Not only that, it's also open source, which also means that the developer shouldn't have any trouble creating a compatible with Sodium mod. And I don't know what I should say here as the cons of this mod, on paper, this mod is just perfect, but we'll see if this mod is still the best mod in terms of the performance, because I'm starting the comparison. On the screen you can see my PC specs and also I'm gonna use the Minecraft version 1.20.4 and here are the versions of the mods and mod loaders that I've used. Also I won't repeat the same mistake as in the previous video and I think it would be enough for Minecraft if I allocate about 8 gigs of RAM this time and now without further ado let's come to the tests. Alright so the first 3 tests that I'm going to do are really simple, on the first test I'm just just gonna see how long would it take for each mod to generate a world with the same seed and on the second test I'm gonna stay still and benchmark my performance staying on the same position and on the third test I'm gonna simply fly in the same direction and benchmark my performance. So the world creation took around 21 seconds on Optifine followed by Sodium which took around 19 seconds and then we have the fastest one Vulcan mod it only took 15 seconds to generate a world. Not bad but now let's test the performance while standing still and this time Vulcan mod was showing a slight performance difference compared to the others, while Optifine was having the worst frame rate and the worst 0.1 and 1% lows. The maximum frame rate that I could achieve with Optifine was around 1070 FPS, while on Sodium it was about 1480, and on Vulcan I could achieve a whopping 2100 FPS. Pretty excellent result for a new mod in my opinion. However, it was utilizing a bit more RAM than the others, while Optifine and Sodium were using about 1700 megabytes or just 1.7 gigs. Vulcan 
Vulkan mod was using about 300 megabytes more. What I've also noticed is that Vulkan mod had the lowest frame time compared to the others, which means that Vulkan mod had the smoothest and the most responsive gameplay as well. The lowest frame time that I could achieve with Vulkan was about 0.3 milliseconds. On Sodium, I could achieve 0.5 milliseconds, and on Optifine, the lowest frame time was about 0.7 milliseconds. With that said, while standing still, Optifine was showing the worst result in terms of FPS, 0.1 and 1% lows, and frame time as well, which also means that Optifine was also the most stuttery compared to the others. In the second place, we have Sodium with slightly better frame rate, frame time, and 0.1 and 1% lows as well. And in the first place, we have the Vulcan mod, having the smoothest and the most responsive gameplay as well. So right now, Vulcan mod is showing the best results and Optifine the worst. Now, let's simply fly in the same direction and see if there is any difference in performance when we move this time. And it didn't make a big difference for Sodium and Vulcan mod actually. Both became a bit more stuttery, having a bit lower 0.1 and 1% lows compared to while standing still. But the frame rate and even frame time was actually about the same as before, while Optifine dropped in FPS significantly. The FPS on Optifine was stuttering from 400 to 800, while on Sodium was stuttering from 1200 to 1400. And while Vulcan mod had the best frame rate actually, stuttering from the whopping 1800 to 2200. What also caught my eye though at this point is that Vulcan mod was aiming to utilize my GPU by almost its maximum, but everything else was about the same as with the previous tests, except for the RAM usage. Vulcan mod, Sodium and Optifine were utilizing the same amount of RAM while flying. So again, Vulcan mod showed the best results in these tests and Optifine the worst. Now, what I'm going to do is I'm going to turn my render distance up to 32 chunks. Then I decided to simply teleport myself to the same coordinates and let Minecraft generate the territory around me. Since all of the mods use their own chunk optimization techniques, I simply wanted to see which mod will generate the chunks more efficiently and which mod will utilize the least RAM and which mod would have the least CPU usage as well. And while there weren't much difference between the RAM and CPU usage or the chunk generation speed, I do have to mention that while generating new chunks, Optifine dropped in FPS significantly. From having about 800 FPS, it went all the way down to 60 to 80. And also the frame time went from 1 millisecond to up to 5 to 15, while Sodium and Vulcan on the other hand did have pretty solid frame rates and frame times. Sodium did drop to about 500 FPS average and about 2 milliseconds of average frame time, while Vulcan mod dropped to only 600 FPS average and 1.5 milliseconds of frame time. Not only that, Vulcan mod once again had the highest 0.1 and 1% lows, which means it was less stuttery than the others and it was giving the best frame rate compared to the other two mods. While the CPU and RAM usage were about the same on all of the mods, the GPU was maxed out on Sodium and Vulcan for some reason, while Optifine wasn't aiming to use the GPU at all for some reason. Maybe because of that, Optifine was having the worst performance once again and lastly, Optifine took about 1 minute and 36 seconds to generate the territory around me, Sodium took only 1 minute and 21 seconds and Vulcan mod took about 1 minute and 17 seconds. And so far, Vulcan mod is showing the best performance results once again, having the least stuttery gameplay and the highest frame rate compared to the others. Even Sodium, which aims to utilize the same amount of CPU, GPU and RAM, Vulcan mod is still showing slightly better results than Optifine and Sodium as well. But I wanted to test the CPU and RAM and it seems like they all were utilizing the same amount of both CPU and RAM, so I did the following. I decided to install this performance benchmarking map that has lots of moving entities and bunch of stuff going on. So technically this map should be pretty CPU and RAM intensive and so I decided to check this map out. And this time Sodium and Optifine were showing a draw in performance. Literally everything was about the same, maybe just because Optifine has some sort of techniques that optimizes entities that are far away. For example these pistons which are moving on Sodium and Vulcan and on Optifine they're not. While Vulcan mod was showing once again a slight performance difference compared to the other two mods. So I think it would be pretty fair enough if I stop my comparisons at this point since it is pretty clear that Vulcan mod is showing a massive improvement over my last comparison. So Sodium has finally a competitor that provides a little better performance and finally which optimization mod to choose in 2024. Well I personally wouldn't recommend using Optifine in any way nowadays, on the newest versions at least. Don't get me wrong, I don't wanna say that Optifine is a bad mod, but nowadays it basically became useless, not only because it has the poor mod compatibility but also you can get all the same beloved features from Optifine but with mod pack based on Sodium. I personally would recommend using a mod pack called Additive since with the modern launchers mod packs are really simple to install. Not 
not to mention that this mod pack has its own installer as well as Optifine, so it is simple to install as Optifine, but you will get a much better performance compared to Optifine as well. I also wanna say a word to Vulcan mod. I really like how better this mod has become over the past few months, and it is showing a really better handling of CPU and GPU calculations. Since it was sometimes using the same amount of CPU and GPU compared to Sodium, but the performance was just way better, so if you don't care about the mod compatibility, then choose Vulcan mod, as it provides the best performance compared to the others. If you want all the beloved features from Optifine, then just use modpacks, but not Optifine itself. And if you care about mod compatibility, then choose Sodium for the best compatibility. As a conclusion, I can say, use Vulcan mod to get the best performance possible, and if you want the best mod compatibility, use Sodium, and don't use Optifine. Just don't. Subscribe.